Hello everyone, this is Koshal and I welcome you all back to my channel. I hope my video finds you in best of your health and spirits. So today's video is about this t-shirt, a stone of monkey. I just wanna love, we don't gonna fuck, you can be on the other side maybe. First of all, get a t-shirt, I chose this, a little baggy one. Next look for an inspiration, I opened Google and browsed for something that I like and I found this monkey. Get some clips and a cardboard. This cardboard is around 15 years old. We used to get them when we bought a Horlix. We used to play after exams using this board making us taller, stronger and sharper. <laughs> Next what we have to do is find the midpoint of the t-shirt. So I'll tell you later why I did this. Make the marking well. Next insert the cardboard inside the t-shirt in the area where we are going to paint on. And also put on the clips. The t-shirt fabric is usually stretchable and if you don't put the clip on, it will be very difficult to paint on the surface. So once we are done with that, now it's time to make the sketch. From the midpoint, start making the nodes. You can use pencil or ballpoint pen according to your ease. is about to over now we'll start with painting now first of all we'll paint the face of the monkey and I'm using pink color to paint the face because monkey's face is pink yeah, that's what I've seen after painting the face of the monkey it's time to paint the hair and beard of the monkey Once the base color of the beard is finished, so you can add details or shadows on the beard. I'm using white color to do this. Same white paint is used for making the teeth of the monkey and also the joint. It's time to make the smoke now. For this, I'm using ash gray. Time for this funky goggles. The glass is made using a navy blue. And that navy blue is also used for detailing the beard and the hair. The art of detailing has to be done with so much of concentration and also it feels very amazing to do it. Now I'm going to show you how I'm detailing the face of the monkey. For this I have taken darker and lighter shades of pink color and I'm adding those fine lines and wrinkles over the monkey's face to give it a 3D look. This detailing part is really amazing and you will be surprised to see the end results. Here I started with a lighter pink color and you see how I'm using that color on the monkey's face to bring up the shadows. 
While adding these colors, care should be taken for the parts which is exposed, a lighter color should be used and the part which is not exposed should be painted with a darker shade. Now we are going to detail the goggles. White color is used to show the signs. Same white color is used to detail the smoke. Now it's time to paint the frame of the sunglasses. It's done using green and yellow. The light in the joint is made using yellow and red color dotted over it. It looks like a flame. Now we are going to border up everything using black color. Starting with the nostril and then mouth and all over the head of the monkey we'll do this black color out layering. After out layering it looks more artistic and it looks more cartoony. Care should be taken while outlaying. A thin brush should be used for making this. The size of the brush that I am using is double zero. You should have enough concentration while doing this part because if you mess this part, your painting will be ruined. We are about to finish now. So after finishing, make sure you remove those clips. Yeah, there can be some impression of the clips on the t-shirt, but don't worry. Also remove the cardboard and let the t-shirt dry for 24 hours. After letting the t-shirt dry, iron it after 24 hours. And if you don't know how to iron it, you refer my last video. I'll put the link in the description. And here is the final result of the t-shirt. So guys, we are done with today's video and I hope you liked it. So if you liked it, please do give a thumbs up and do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. And also I have a few of your questions to be answered. People are continuously asking me if the t-shirts or anything I customize using my paints are washable or not. Yeah, of course you can wash them because the paint that I'm using is a fabric color and you can wash them again and again and wear it for a longer run so thank you everyone